Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here and say we're playing Raid Shadow Legends and we are on for another solo build. Now this one is one that's actually fast. I know solo builds can be a bit cringe with how long they take sometimes. Virgus, Solo Scarab King. Reliable, but slow. Um, I do have a video from my Virgus solo showing him as solo, but honestly you don't really want to bring just him, you want to bring people with him for wave clear. And that's what we're doing right here. Except now we got Urost. <laughs> we have Urost now, so same idea, but Urost is so much easier to build. Now, look at this time taken. Now it's 33 three minutes, 33 seconds, 19 turns. Like 19 turns? That sounds crazy, right? The reality is you're building him as slow as possible so he doesn't go that often. You want the Scarab King to go fast. So let's get into this run here. I hope I have my people clear the wave fairly quickly. That could be my where I'm failing. Oh god, Snacia, bruh. Why did she not AoE? This should be all one shot, one shot. This should be quicker. <laughs> this should be way quicker. <laughs> oh man. Zavia already died. We were using her for her aura. That's fine. Oh yeah, there's a couple duchess here. Couple duchess, that's right. They make things a little slower too now, don't they? But that's where you're gonna need some hard hitters that can nuke the waves and get you to the boss. We kind of want everyone to die once we get to the boss, that's fine. If they die a little bit before the boss, that's fine too. This is slow now. <laughs> this is really slow now though. I could make a different choices, maybe I should have brought my Trunda in. Herndig is really good for this role though. I probably should turn off her heal. Sinatia is actually making- Sinatia was a bad choice for me, not gonna lie. This Sinatia was a bad choice. But my skull crown that I was gonna put in didn't have good crit rates. So, alright, we're to the boss. We want everyone to die now. Please die. Hurry up and die. Die! There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> now we are on to the fun part. So, the whole point of this is poisons. Arost is just poisoning. Every time he's attacked, he has a chance to poison. That is what this entire build revolves around. So you do need accuracy. Also here, these debuffs. Him getting the decreased attack, decreased de speed, that's fine. We want decreased speed, actually. We want him to go slow. So the slower he can go, the better. We just want to keep procking the poisons and rely completely on poisoning the Scarab King. So because of this reason, because the slower Urost is, the faster the run is. Which actually makes doing Scarab 100 faster than doing the lower levels of Scarab King in, this, in any of the rotations. Because the boss is going more often, which means poisons are going up more often. It's just, it's such a simple, simple build, but... It works, and plus it actually gives you a reason to save some gear that you probably trash. How many people save banners without speed on them? Or boots without speed on them? There's a reason. You have your Vogos, you have your Asugas, there's some other reasons, sure. But he's a perfect candidate for a 6-star accuracy banner with no speed on it. A 6-star HP percentage regen or immortal boot with no speed on it. So those are pieces you want to keep an eye out for while you're doing your clan boss runs and getting that immortal gear, or if you're farming spider. Don't have your filter set to sell all banners with no speed. Don't do it. Just feel you there have one reason. Even if it's just this one reason, if Arost is your reason, still worth it, because you don't want him to go that often. I have one piece of gear with speed on it, and I really hope I can find a better piece too get it off, honestly. Might be able to. Only s plus six speed on my Eros right now, guys. Plus six. And here we go. Again, three and a half minutes. Could be faster if my nuker choices were different, right? That was a slow nuker run. Duchess made that slow. Throw in a couple trundas. Throw in some different nukers. I might be able to make this a lot faster. Actually, I made it slower by adding in Sinatia. She wasn't a good choice for my build there. But yep, see in 39 turns, because my <laughs> because my um, 
Nukers took too long to kill the waves. That's where all the turns were. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the build. Really easy though. And it's quick. All things considered for a solo build and higher levels of Doom Tower farming, this is really quick. So we have Uros here. I have him in Regen and Immortal. Someone asked in my chat, could you do full Immortal instead of Regen? You get a lot less healing. That's the only problem. So when you get to the boss, you need to heal a couple times. It might be an issue. I haven't seen anyone do full regen or so full immortal with no regen. So you tell me. Let me if that. Let me know in the comments below if it has worked for you without regen gear. I'd love to know. But like I mentioned here, six star accuracy, no speed, HP percentage, immortal boots, no speed. I even have a five star rare. HP percentage regen chest just to make sure I had one with no speed on it. This is my only piece with speed. Accidentally, I'm gonna try to get rid of it. Quad accuracy, five star piece, have a good use for it. Five, six star, triple ac triple HP, a little bit split here, but that's all right. Now you, you again, you don't you don't need resistance. I happen to have some, but you don't need it. Three eighty five. I'm like, although honestly guys, if am I forgetting any reason to need a little bit of resistance? If I am, let me know in the comments below. I don't believe so. I don't think I did that on purpose. I think that's just what kind of came with the pieces I chose. But yeah, 101 speed. And it can be slower. He can be 95 speed if I can get no speed extra. Aim for that 100,000 HP, 3,000 defense, and you'll be fine. Really easy build and plenty of accuracy to land those poisons. It's all about landing the poisons. And then Mastery's here. I did do Eagle Eye to make it easier to land the poisons. Um, they have higher accuracy, so I could just throw on all HP and not have to put like an accuracy chest on or something. So that can be a little bit harder when you're dealing with higher accuracy for Doom Tower. So I did go Eagle Eye. You, you don't really need to go War Master and all that because you're barely going anyway. So it's better off just to stick to the support stuff and chances to counterattack is helpful as well but yeah super easy perfect so much faster than the Vergus build so if you guys were dealing with the Vergus solo scarab king builds or similar i definitely suggest urost he's worth trying to get and he's super easy to build using different pieces of gear that you probably wouldn't use on other champions like all the stuff with no speed so it's helpful i like it but yeah, let, uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other tricks you use with Urost. Um, I would be curious if anyone uses anything besides regen. I haven't, I've only seen regen gear. So let me know. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.